Good morning guys. So I am running a little bit late today, but I thought I'd come on real quick because I am late. I'm sitting in the parking lot, so this is gonna be pretty awkward. Um so for breakfast I ordered Dunkin' Donuts and I ordered it for pickup. So I ordered a large dark roast coffee right here and I ordered a vegan toasty which comes wrapped in wonderful delicious Texas toast and it has um, two eggs, bacon and cheese. So I'm just gonna have to take uh, usually I get it without the bun, but because I ordered it online, they don't have that option. So I'm going to have to take the bread off and eat that for my lunch today because I did not prepare anything. Nothing. So, um, because I still want Bulletproof Coffee, your girl got prepared. So in here I have my heavy cream and coconut oil. And here I have my butter and my syrup. Um, my sugar-free hazelnut syrup you know so I don't have an excuse y'all like I still I gotta stay on track regardless and I was just so tired yesterday I didn't have time to um make that happen but I'm gonna get into work and I'm gonna make it happen okay no excuses team no excuses all right now people can talk to me hey guys so I showed you guys what I had for lunch, that big and toasty. Um, so I took all the bread off, like scraped the bacon and the cheese off and threw the bread away. It was so hard. And I had a little funeral and I said goodbye. Um, for me, I found that if I order something without bread, I am less tempted to even try and eat it. Like, But if I see it, I might like, ooh, a little nibble here, a little nibble there. It's not going to hurt anybody. So, I mean, I'm not cutting out carbs completely because that's not what the ketogenic diet is. It's just significantly lowering your carbs. So I try to stay between 20 on a really good day and 50 on a, mm, you could have done better day. But I try not to go over those numbers and that's the bracket I like to stay in the most. But closer to 20, the better. I had that lunch around uh, 12 o'clock and it's now about 2.40. And I'm about to go into the library for a couple hours to get some work done. Um, but I know I'm going to get hungry and you can't eat in the library. So I brought my trusty Premier Protein with me again. Um, this time I didn't have heavy cream. So I drank a little and then I added water to it. That's a huge difference because it really thins it out. Because I added heavy cream because it was too sweet. But... It was at least thick this adding water made it really thin maybe i should just add less water i don't know but this should keep me full for the next couple hours and i think i'm gonna try and cook like an enchilada bake tonight for dinner so if i do that i'll bring you guys along with me so you could uh watch me watch me whip my enchilada bake honestly i wish you guys could see the contraption that i have like I'm using my pop socket and attaching it to my rear view mirror <laughs> and hoping that it stays up there but it's not working for me <laughs> so I'm just gonna sip this and then I'm gonna go into the library for a couple hours and I'll check back in with you guys for dinner all right so excuse the darkness I'm in the parking structure of Target for me the happiest place on earth and I'm gonna pick up some food let's see if I still make that enchilada bake I don't know but I'm so happy because I was able to get all of my homework done all of it and it's not really due till Sunday at midnight and it's only Tuesday so kudos to me I now have more time to do more adult things but yeah let's go to Target also, side note, I am freaking starving to death, and I didn't bring any other snacks with me other than my shake. So I am going to have this uh, sugar-free candy right here. It's uh, cough, caramel coffee. Um, it's not going to keep me from being hungry, but it will keep me from biting someone's arm off. So that's always a positive, right? All right, now let's go to Target. <laughs> Oh, 
Target for like one thing and instead you get too many things just me I thought I'd show you guys what I got I'm so tired I really don't want to cook but I know if I don't cook I'm gonna be hungry tomorrow so I'm gonna have to cook all right so let's just pull everything out of this this bag here so for starters this is why you don't go shopping while you're hungry um, because I got this Smart Food Popcorn Spicy Jalapeno Ranch. And I gotta be honest with you, uh, the <clears throat> macros aren't that great. But you know, sometimes you gotta treat yourself. So, like I said before, I'm not very strict keto. I'm what you call, I guess, a lazy keto. Um, so, carbs are 14. Dietary fibers are only 2. So that's 12 for 2 cups. You know what I'm saying? So, that's just about, you know, a little over half of my carb allotment for the day. So, I'll have to ration that out. Maybe get, like, a, a cup or something. I don't know. We'll see. But, I thought that would be good. I got these Kiwi Strawberry Propel Packets. And I got this because when you're doing this type of eating plan, you feel kind of sluggish, get headaches, um, nausea if you don't keep your electrolytes up. So, this will help me. And this is in the flavor kiwi strawberry. Um, so, I'm going to see how those, those taste. It's got a lot of sodium, potassium, um, vitamin C, niacin, B12, E6. I don't know what that they know what acid is, but whatever. So, hopefully that tastes good. I'll just add this to my liter of water that I carry around with me um this I got from my car which it should still be in there but you know how that goes and then because I told you guys making my ench chicken enchilada bake today um I didn't target didn't have like a whole rotisserie chicken which is what I would have gotten and I didn't feel like cooking a whole chicken so here we go um quick and easy this is already cooked never tasted this before so we shall see um it does have 2.5 grams of fat per container i mean per serving and two grams of carbs no fiber um yeah so this is going to be enough for the whole the whole pan next up we have my one true love <laughs> i've been living off this stuff like literally it's in my veins okay um, I, I don't even know if I have to tell you about how awesome this stuff is, but I will. I sure will do it. Um, <laughs> this is Halo Top in the flavor chocolate chip cookie dough, which is one of my favorites. Um, for this whole pint, it's 360. Not just a serving, a whole pint. Here are the nutrition facts on it. So it has three grams of fat, which, uh, it's not a lot because it is a low fat ice cream. But when you're doing this way of eating, you want to get more fat into your diet. So what I've done at times is added a little heavy whipping cream to it to bump up that fat count. The carbs is 16 grams and the fiber is 3 grams. So that puts us at 13 grams of carbs. But we can also subtract the sugar alcohols, which is 5. So let's do that math. 13 minus 5. So, each serving has about 8 grams of carbs, and the protein is 5 grams. So, what I do with this is, because I know that I don't have that self-control as of now, um, I will take this and put it into little containers and just divide it up. Um, kind of like those containers I showed you this morning that I put my Bulletproof Coffee stuff inside. Just to divide it up, and I got the uh, birthday cake flavor. 
Okay, and then I also got two bags of this cauliflower. Uh, it was about a dollar. I like this because you just pop it in the in the microwave and you're basically done. Melt some nice Kerrygold butter over top and we're good to go. And then I got two cans of this enchilada sauce just to put on my um, enchiladas, obviously. This is three grams of carbs, no fiber, um, and one point grams of fat. So this is going to be, this is not, this is going to be great. It's going to be great. This is not keto related, but you know I had to get some of this. This too. This is the color Blue Cruise. So we'll see if I have time to do my nails tonight because girl, girl. I mean, they've been worse. It could be worse. And then the last thing I got was this Canada Dry Diet Ginger Ale. So I, I did, you guys saw that I did look at um, the tortillas and things that they had. And they were all very high in carbs. And I was trying to find a low carb corn tortilla. Just, I don't know if they exist or not, but I'm going to be on the hunt. But while I was at Walmart the other day with my husband, we found this. Well, he found this. He was like, can't you eat this? So this is no trans fat reduced carb. Wait. <laughs> no trans fat reduced carb reduced fat high protein. This is Joseph's Flax Oat Bran and Whole Wheat Lavash Bread. Um, and it has omega-3s. And I got it because the total net grams, I mean the net grams, the net carbs is right here. They already did the math for you, which is great. Um, so I'm going to try and use this inside of the lasagna. And I'm lasagna. Y'all, I need a nap. Now lasagna, uh, chicken enchilada, bake, and I'm going to see how that works, and we will see. I don't know. Um, trying to figure out if I should, like, make it crispy first and then put it in there. I might do that. We'll see. We just, we just go where the wind blows around here. All right? So, let's get cooking. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I have this big skillet and I put a bunch of coconut oil in here and I'm going to go ahead and fry this uh, bread that I showed you guys and we're just gonna, I don't know, we're gonna see, we're gonna see what happens. Let's see, let's just see what happens. Let's do it. Ooh. May have put too much coconut oil. It's crisping up real quick. Ooh. Okay, okay. I see you, Lavash. I see you, Lavash. All right. So since this chicken is already fully cooked, I'm going. I'm going to go ahead and add in a can of mild diced green chilies and some green chili enchilada sauce. And I'm gonna add a little mozzarella mixed with a little bit of cheddar and of course some pepper and uh -huh. I'm gonna add in this roasted garlic and herb seasoning alright so this is what everything looks like all added up all added up I'm gonna mix it in alright so basically what I'm doing now is I'm taking this spatula and I'm just kind of jabbing it to uh, dice up the chicken because it's in such big chunks okay so I forgot to film this part but I went ahead and sprayed this small pan here with uh, coconut oil then I put a little bit of enchilada sauce in the bottom just to coat then I went ahead and added that Joseph's flatbread whatever then I would put in about a third of my chicken enchilada mixture. For each layer, I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle on a little bit of cheese. I'm not like a recipe person, so just like, I don't know, a little bit of cheese, a little bit of, little bit of cheese there. Uh, each time, usually I get the Mexican kind of cheese, but I had this, so this is what I'm using. So I did that. And I'm going to add another piece of 
my bread here. Kind of like a lasagna, sort of. And then I'm just going to repeat. All right, so I'm all done layering. I got about two and a half layers out of this. I say two and a half because the top layer just has the piece of um, the bread, some enchilada sauce, olives, and some cheese on top. I'm going to put this in the oven for I don't know how long because I've never made this crap before. So <laughs> I will let you know how long when it's done. All right. Alrighty, so it's been about 20 good minutes in the oven on 350. Uh, I'm going to let it cool down for a little bit, just a little bit, because your girl is starving. And then I'm going to cut this into four servings. Okay, so here is the finished product. Like, I taste a little bit. It tastes so good, y'all. Like, you need to make this at home. You need to do it. And if you don't, I don't know what's wrong with you. And I just... I, I just hope that there's help for you in the future because, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to devour this. Yum. Yum. Getting to it. And just looking at all the layers. Oh, God. I'm so hungry, guys. This is what's left of it, so I still got three more meals after So this. here goes. I'm going to dig in. I'm digging in. I'm digging in. <laughs> Okay, gotta get, I topped it with sour cream too, so you know I had to really. Jesus? Jesus. Oh my God. This is legit. I'm sorry. No, I'm told me not to talk my mouth full, but. This is legit delicious. With that, um, the bread, I'm glad I toasted it, but I can taste a little burntness in it. So just make sure when you're toasting or frying that up a little bit, don't let it get too brown because you'll taste the burntness. But other than that, Life is good. It's real good. Oh, I'm gonna eat this and um, wind down, chill out, and get some rest. But thanks for tuning in, watching this video, and I hope you come back. You hear? Mm. Excuse me.